Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today let me look at the concept of Spring Boot part 2 tutorial. In our in, uh, Spring Boot introduction tutorial, uh, we saw how to write the hello world programming. Uh, let's continue the uh, part 2. Okay. Uh, in my last tutorial, I have explained this all the stuff. Controller, mapping, this all the stuff I have explained it. Uh, if you look at Spring Boot, all are refer as annotation. This all as an annotation. If you are calling the controller, you need to write the control annotation. Uh, get mapping. This is the path where your programming runs, right? So, what is the response body I have taught? It will be uh, telling to the controller to display the message, right? Okay, hello world message. Okay, right. Now, what I am going to do is here. Now I am going to go to add two numbers, right? So how to add two numbers? First, you declare two numbers, right? So what I am going to do is here. I am going to get rid of this one. Return. I am going to enter three plus three. Here, if you look at that one, it show the error. Here, if you are go here, this match can't convert from int to string. What is the meaning by here is, you have created the string method here, string method, okay. So, if you are change it as integer, now you have to look at this one, now it will be working, okay, here it will be working. Now, let's save all, right, we save all, you already uh, run the application. So, now what I am going to do is, you have go to the debug, already your application is run, right click, Terminate and then relaunch. Right. Now it will be saved. Now I am going to. Right. It will be relaunched. Right. Okay. Now you can see here. If we refresh it, six will be the output. Okay. It's very simple. The six will be the output. Very simple. Now you can see here the arithmetic operators. You can use anything else. I am only use plus sign. If you are using a minus. Here. Yeah, you will be see the output, right? Right. Now you go here. Here, zero will be the output. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to create the variable, right? Variable you already study in your core Java. I'm. I don't have to uh, give the definition and everything. Okay. This is the this is the framework, right? If you are if you know core Java well, you must study framework, right? Okay. Now. Variables are stored in the uh, which uh, store the value in the memory permanently, uh, sorry, temporarily, not permanently, right? So, let's create the variable. So, how to create the variable? First, I am going to declare the, this is the data type int, right? So, variable name I am going to give as a equal, value I am going to give as 10. This is the variable declaration. This is the data type. This is a variable name. This is the value, right? This is the this is called as integer variable. Okay. Now, what I'm going to if you want to display the value, so you have to return your give a. Now let's save all, and again I'm going to right click, terminate and relaunch. Right. Now let's go and run and check what happened. This one should be the output. Ten is output you can check here so 10 will be the output because if you are declaring the value 10 it will be assigned to your uh, left side right what is you are assigning your right side it is assigned to your right left side if you are if you are uh, put the a 10 will be printed right now here how to here i am going to declare the string variable right let's look at the concept of string variables name if it is string, you have to write within the double quotation mark, then only the program will understand you are writing the string. Okay. Here I am going to name it as Spring Boot. Spring Boot. Spring boot. Right. Now here I am going to get the written name. This one. Okay. This one. Spring Boot. Change 
What's the problem? That. What is the problem here is if it is string, you have to make this an asterisk. Now it's work. Now save all. Right click and terminate and relaunch. Okay, then only the pro the what you are changed here, it will be built up. Right? Now you can see here Spring Boot. Output will be generated as Spring Boot. Right? This this how the variable will be working. Now I am going to add two numbers. So out add two numbers. So you have to make the data type as int. First, I am going to declare two numbers. A int A equal 10, int B equal 20. Now here we have to write another integer variable, tot equal A plus B. Now the tot we have to call it here. This both value should be added. A plus B it will be assigned to the variable tot I have written here it will be go here and print it. right now let's save all right click and terminate and relaunch you will be able to get the output 30 will be the output very simple right very simple program okay right now I'm going to go to do another things um, I'm going to do the another thing is a uh, student marks calculation, right? This already I student marks calculation I have done in my code Java uh, as well. The same thing I'm going to do in Spring Boot as well, okay? So here, first I'm going to declaring two, uh, three marks, right? So int marks, this is int marks, I'm going to declaring as 40. It's a marks one, the same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste here. It's a marks two, 60, int marks three, as 50, right. Now I'm going to go to get the total of the marks, right? So marks one, control C to copy, this one, control V to paste here. Second one, paste it here. After that plus, the third marks this one. This all marks are calculated and assign to the variable dot so you have to write is a dot it will be printing the dot okay okay printing the dot right now what i am going to do here is i am going to display the uh, grade only if the i don't have to display the total and average i want to display the on the, only the uh, grade whether the student is pass or not Right, how to do the task is after that we have to create as a average. I'm going to calculate the average, so I'm going to write double ab average. I'm going to get the variable average dot divide by the number of subject. Subject there are three subjects here. They are marks one, marks two, marks three. That, that's why we have to divide by three. This dot okay, divide by three, get the average. So now I'm going to check if the student marks is greater than 50 results should be uh, grade should be fast otherwise grade would be fail. okay so how do the task here is now I'm going to create the variable string grade right now here first time what I'm going to see I'm going to uh, start with the condition so we have to write if if your average greater than 50, if the average is greater than 50, what happens is grade will be grade equal pass. Otherwise, else the same thing I am just copy and paste it over here, grade should be fed. This is the this is how the program will be work. Okay, now the grade I am going to paste it here. Right, this say uh, here what I am going to is simply you have to change this one as a string. Okay, now the output will be work because I am returning only the thing is what is what you are return the if you are, if if you are return in the uh, integer value you make it as int. Okay, now I am going to not uh, here I am uh, in this example I am not returning any integer value only the string value so that we have to change it as string okay I am going to 
only display the grade only whether the student is pass or not okay these are the student marks we have calculated all the students this is the average we have calculated after that we have to create the string variable we have to uh, uh, here we have to calculate the student grade okay if the student is if the student get more than 50 if the average is more than 50 grade is pass otherwise grade is fail so we have to return the grade so that we have to make this one as a string okay so now let's save all now right click and terminate and relaunch now you just go here see the output fail fail right this fail now let's change this one as 80 okay now 80 now you like look at the output again terminate and relaunch right now let's test it now is fast okay right this is fast okay very simple example okay uh, before you are going to go to the spring boot uh, advanced stuff you must learn how the how the return works right if you are returning any integer value you have to put here the int okay if you are returning the string you must here to make it as string okay grade is a string so that i make it as string so that i have put this example okay i hope that it will be clear if there is any doubt what i taught today you can ask me uh, when i am coming online right if you are comment me sometime i may replay sometime i may not replay right so if I, when i am coming to online uh, online live you can ask me that time i can uh, clearly clear your doubts right very simple one okay this is how uh, spring boot application work there are many students who uh, ask me when i am live they want to learn spring boot step by step so that i have started spring boot i hope you all enjoy my video tutorial well uh, thank you for watching